Hey folks, Eddie from Brain Pulp TV, and I'm coming at you with a Brain Pulp update video. Now, if you haven't seen this before, I've done this once or twice in the past, and I'm just gonna be talking about what you can expect from the channel in the next month or so, as well as looking ahead to a bit more of a distant future for the channel. However, before I get to the update itself, I wanted to say thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart and Travis's heart and Steve's heart, thank you guys very much for subscribing. We've recently hit just over 200 subscribers, which I realize in the grand scheme of things with YouTube and channels, it's not a huge, huge deal, but it means the world to us. And I didn't do this when we hit 100 subscribers like I was supposed to. So I wanted to definitely make note of this and say thank you guys very much for subscribing. Also, thank you to anyone who has left feedback, given us any comments, words of encouragement, whether it be through the comment section or through Twitter or email. That really, really helps motivate us. It's a huge shot in the arm for uh, people like us who are just sort of starting out on YouTube and testing the waters with creating a YouTube channel. And it means more to us than you probably realize. So thank you guys for that as well. Okay, and now that I've got the thank yous out of the way, let's get to what we're going to be doing over the next month or so with the channel and also maybe a little peek ahead at to what we're gonna be doing in the new year. Now, let me start off by saying at the end of October, we had hit our first full year of doing Brain Pulp TV. And it was one of those moments where we sort of had a little bit of a meeting, the three of us, Travis, Steve, and I, and we talked about what we wanted to do with the channel, what we wanted to change with the channel, what's working, what's not working, sort of brainstormed what we could be doing in the future. And that sort of is what's uh, spawned this particular video. As well, with it being the end of November, if you're watching this video when it comes uh, out, it is the end, currently the end of November 2016, if you need any more frame of reference. And the holiday season is breathing down our necks, as I'm sure it is for most of you guys out there as well too. And it can be a pretty hectic time of year. So another reason for doing this update is to let you know of more of a um, restricted update schedule than we've done in the past. Now, if you've been following the videos we upload to the channel, like the uh, Magic Online Let's Plays that I do, or occasionally the other types of Let's Plays that I do, the Mana Cave as well, some of the deck techs, and other videos that we've done throughout the year, you'll notice that we've sort of uh, been tapering off with a couple of them. Uh, we've been doing in, in within just over a year, we ended up doing 52 episodes of the Mana Cave, which meant that we've done one a week every week for the entire year, which is super great in, in our opinion. It's something we're quite proud of. So we want to keep doing the Mana Caves. However, if you are normally watch it when it comes out, you'll know that last Friday we didn't produce a Mana Cave, and that's because we're not going to be having another Mana Cave out till the beginning or near the beginning of January. Now, what I know we do have coming up is Travis is doing a deck tech. I sort of got a sneak preview of it tonight. I am still trying to get a deck tech video out for the uh, Demir Popper deck that I used in our last Mana Cave Popper series. So there are going to be a couple more deck techs coming out. I don't know if there's going to be any openings. Maybe if I get something for Christmas, I will open it up for the channel. Oh, actually, there is probably going to be an opening up or an opening before the end of the year, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So you'll just have to wait and see. Also, I know that Steve is working on uh, producing a vlog. He's sort of testing out different ways of going about it. So it looks it looks good from what I've seen so far. So I'm not sure when he plans on launching that, but that may also not be launched till January. However, once the new year hits, we are hoping to have not just the content that you're used to seeing, but also some new content that we're kind of brainstorming and working on. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is moving a little bit further than just doing magic content on the channel. Now, hopefully that's not too big of a deal for most of you, because I realize the channel currently is very magic centric. So a lot of you may be here just to watch magic content. And if that's if that's the case, that's cool, too, because we are still going to be producing magic content. However, we want to sort of try to expand the channel into areas of other tabletop games. For example, the Mana Cave, we may not do just Paper Magic on the Mana Cave. We're going to be trying out a few other games that we've been wanting to play for a while. Zombie Side, for example, is one of the games. There's an uh, independent game that was funded through Kickstarter called Thieves Market. Also, Looking for Groups, Orphans and Ashes, or Ashes and Orphans. I just checked, and it is Orphans and Ashes, which I should know because Looking for Group 
is a web comic created by Ryan Silmer and Lara D'Souza, and I am the colorist on that particular comic, so you would think I would know the name of the game that they've produced. Also, Warhammer is another game that we are hoping to be able to shoot some gameplay videos for, as well as I'd like to do some painting videos for that because I have been painting my army, my very first army, and I've really been enjoying it. So I will put up a couple pictures, I think, here showing the early efforts I have with painting Warhammer figures. It's actually Age of Sigmar, but still, we're going to be playing either Warhammer or Age of Sigmar, I'm not sure which, uh, Warhammer 40k or Age of Sigmar, because yes, I know Age of Sigmar is a Warhammer product, but um, that is something we're looking forward to. So yeah, the Mana Cave, it, it, as it stands now, we're thinking of having a Mana Cave episode where, a traditional Mana Cave, a traditional Mana Cave episode where we play live Paper Magic, and then maybe the following week, we do a different tabletop game, like I said, like like Orphans and Ashes, or Thieves Market, or Zombicide, or or Warhammer. We may not call those episodes the Mana Cave, though I'm kind of pushing for it still to be called the Mana Cave, but that's sort of what will be our Friday updates for the New Year's, where we're still going to be doing tabletop games, but it's not always going to be Magic the Gathering. Also, in the same vein, for my Let's Plays, I'm going to be doing still Magic Online videos, but I also want to do a variety of other Let's Plays as well. In fact, I've just recently invested in a capture card which will allow me to play Xbox One games and record it on the computer for you guys. But like with the Mana Cave, that doesn't mean that I'm going to completely cut out Magic Online videos. I'm still going to be producing those because, let's face it, a lot of you probably subscribed for Magic content and not any other content. If you guys are willing to watch other content, that's awesome, but we don't want to remove the content that a lot of you came here for in the first place. So also we just, we enjoy playing magic. So we don't want to stop doing that for the channel. We just want to sort of try new things. So there you have it. That is sort of what you can expect in the new year. Like I mentioned before, Travis is going to be doing deck techs. That's not going to change. Uh, I'm not sure the frequency in which the deck techs are going to be coming out. We're shooting for in the new year to have a deck tech out maybe once a week, if possible, if not, then once every two weeks, something like that. So yeah, there still will be plenty of magic content. There just will be other content as well. Keep in mind, though, these plans are tentative right now. So if anything changes, we will let you know in another video similar to this. But in the meantime, we just wanted to give you guys a heads up and assure you that even though the number of videos may sort of lessen over the next few weeks by, I believe, at the latest, the middle of January 2017, things should be back to normal and we should be doing the Mana Cave again and everything should be all fine and dandy. Now, with all that said, that is the end of this update. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. If I did, maybe I'll do a supplemental video to this or just tack something on at the end of this one, which uh, through the magic of editing will happen right now. I have no idea whether something was added in there or not, but if there was something added, then you're not going to see this part anyways. So still, thank you guys very much for watching. If you didn't enjoy the video, hopefully it was at least informative. And if you are looking for something to do during the lull, of the holiday season when uh, fewer videos are gonna be on the site, then maybe check out some of our old videos that you may not have seen or tell a friend to check out our older videos or make it a new Christmas tradition in your household to watch Brain Pulp TV because, you know, maybe grandma wants to see me swear when I f up during Magic Online. Still, regardless whether or not you decide to make Brain Pulp TV one of your annual traditions around this time of year, we do wish you a very Happy holiday season and a wonderful new year. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon.